It's currently quarter to four on a Sunday morning in Paris, and unfortunately, I'm not on my way back from a nightclub, but you'd probably be glad to hear, seeing as I'm dressed head to toe in Lycra. What I'm doing instead is I'm about to meet this man here in the background. This is Mark Beaumont. He is, as I'm sure you'll be aware by now, about to tackle the round the world record for cycling. He's currently aiming for 80 days, so that's 240 miles a day, every day. And I've got to say, I'm absolutely chuffed to bits. I've been invited to try and do the first day with him. Mark, you're looking super lean, super fit, and I've got to say super aero as well this morning. Uh, you've got a momentous task ahead. Dare I ask, how, how are you feeling? Are you confident? I feel good. I feel, I feel calm. There's been moments of panic and fear in the recent days, but that's passed and I'm, I'm left feeling pretty good. I mean, if I can get around the planet in 80 days, that's, that really is a, a, a line in the sand. That really is a, um, a significant you know, feat of endurance and it's, I guess, what I've been building towards since I was a 12-year-old kid cycling across Scotland. So, big moment. Right, well, mark the date because 80 days from now, all being well, we're going to be back here. Yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. I'll stop it here then. So we're, we're nearing our first uh, rest break, is that right Mark? So yeah. we've done our first four hour stint and uh, looking forward to getting off the seat. It's, but it's been a pretty nice four hour ride, like I'm, I'm okay I think. How are you Mark? Warming up. Warming no, up. Just warming up. So that's 100k in the bag and we're now at the first of three short stops that Mark makes during the day. Now at this point you can be forgiven for wondering what exactly a ride around the world involves because it's not quite as simple as it sounds. To explain then I will hand over to Mark himself who we caught up with the day before it all started. The current world record is 123 days so my plan 80 days this is not about pipping a record this is about going next level. Putting it on the shelf. It's yeah I mean for me that's a one-time prize you know Tell me the second person to climb Everest, you know, what the, the four minute yeah. mile. You know, it's, it's a huge milestone. C can you, by manpower, get around the world in 80 days? But that means you got to ride 240 miles a day for basically two and a half months. That is quite a target, isn't it? So obviously you can't literally ride around the world because, yeah. uh, you know, oceans, things like that. So how does it, how does it work in terms of, uh, is there a set route to ride around the world or do you pick your own route? So, Minimum distance 18,000, you're crazy to go much more. You've got to start finishing the same point. Okay. 10 years ago I chose Arc de Triomphe Paris and back in Paris for the start this time. Nice. Exactly, pretty iconic. And um, you've got to go in the same direction at all times and so never go back on yourself. Almost everyone goes east because most continents have a prevailing wind from the west. Okay. Uh, you know, that's the biggest factor uh, in, your, in your speed. You've got to hit two antipodal points, two points on the opposite side of the globe. Okay. And they're actually quite hard to find because most of the southern hemisphere is water. Yeah. They're allowed to be plus minus two degrees. And so what are yours? Uh, Madrid and Wellington. You caught me. <laughs> Just stuffing my face with a handful of nuts and berries. Uh, I'm trying to uh, eat some normal food as well, seeing as this is a long day on the bike. Yeah. I've already had two energy bars and a bottle of right, um, Go Energy. But now it's time for some nuts. Breakfast after all. I think we're doing all right, aren't we, Mark? We are one hour to lunch. <laughs> and we've had a massive tailwind for a long time. And the rain jackets are off as well. So what more can you ask for, really? Right, successfully made it to lunch, uh, which is a very welcome sight indeed. We've logged 211.7 kilometers on the way to get here. Uh, which is, which is a pretty long ride for me. I'd say it's one of my longest of all time. Been in the saddle for just over eight hours now as well. Uh, the main thing though is that Mark is doing really well. Super pleased, we're a little bit ahead of schedule. Uh, we'd uh, expect to have got, I think about, uh, what would it be, 190 Ks. So we're about 20 Ks up. Uh, so that's cool. 
I'd like to think it's my good influence, but I suspect it's probably more to do with the rip roaring tailwind we've had. But you know, I can dream. Just another eight hours to do after after lunch. Then he's actually gone for a snooze. I think I might have a snooze as well. While this is very much an individual world record attempt, Mark is going to be relying heavily on a support team to keep him on the road. One of whom is Laura Penhow, his performance manager. So we asked her exactly what it's going to take to keep Mark on his bike for 80 days. We're in the follow vehicle, it'll be always with Mark. Okay. And in this vehicle will be myself and then Alex, the obviously mechanic that you've met. So he's always looking after, the two of us are always with him at any given time. And then alongside that, we have a driver with us. And then the three of us will rotate to drive. So we sort of look after each other as well. So and yeah, so this is our camper. This is kind of pretty much my space. Right. <laughs> So um, things like, you know, just in case I'm out of action, then I've got a lot of bits around here that the guys also know what he should be eating when, okay. the kind of timings, the calories, what's in, in sort of involved. So, you know, smoothies sort of mixes. I would imagine that getting hold of, you know, quality protein or whatever, in some of the places that you're going to be going to, must be quite hard. So how much have you actually got in the, in the yeah. camper? So he's burning sort of between eight to 9,000 calories a day at wow. least. So it's just constant fueling but at the same time what we found is you know if you if he only fuels mainly like a thousand two thousand calories sometimes during a break then he's massively you know what it's like when you eat a big food yeah. you just dive bomb afterwards so constant fueling regularly so even in his drinks whether that's electrolytes or carbohydrate based drinks and again like i say the smoothies the soups other stuff i can make that he can easily drink yeah then happy days and that just means he keeps topped up with his calories really yeah Alex, you are Mark's mechanic, and so I'm particularly interested to know what is in here. This is the garage, right? How many inner tubes have you got stashed away? I think it's about 50. 50 tubes? Something like that. Puncture repair kit? Oh, now you're asking me all the questions. Puncture, no, we don't have any puncture repair kit. We throw them away. Okay. You know, so, um, yeah, there's, there's 24 tyres of three different grades, uh, a durable, uh, an intermediate, and a light. Yeah. We'll probably be using the durable. Mark's talking about using the light, but I'm... Hmm. So, uh, and lots of tubes, yeah. And um, they're pretty tight on the rims, so right. I'm going to develop nice strong thumbs <laughs> over the coming months. Cool, um, and, and there's a bike box in there, so that's presumably when you're flying out of Beijing. Yeah, so, so yeah, we, we roll, he goes onto the spare bike for the last four hours into the Beijing, so we can take the number one bike and pack it up and get it on the flight with him. It's quite wow. complicated. That's super so, tight, isn't yeah, it, timing-wise? Yeah. There's, there's no delay. Nice. Uh, so the bike box is there, um, and yeah, the next bike flies out to, P to Perth, Australia from Britain to, to be the spare bike, so it's like a rolling, yeah. Wow, logistics are nuts, aren't they? Uh, oh my word. I need this stop really badly. It's 320 kilometers done. 50 something K, no, 60 K to our destination. Except apparently we might not be finishing there now because we're up on schedule. We're going further. <laughs> oh man. The good thing is, Mark is flying and he's feeling very chipper. And seeing as he's got to do 79 more days of this, that's definitely a good thing. I'm on, I'm on my limit though. Right then, four more hours to go. Already come through my longest ride ever. Well, that is a truly, truly epic day. We started out at the Arc de Triomphe at 4 a.m. in Paris, and here we are, stood on some random road in northern Belgium, 386 kilometers away. It's taken us 15 hours, and we had an average speed of about 26 or something kilometers an hour. You can probably tell, the fact that I'm a little bit spaced out, that, uh, that that was me on my limit for several hours. I'm, I'm completely done. Now behind me in the camper 
Mark is just getting uh, a bit of dinner and then he's going to be getting a little bit of treatment, a bit of massage and then a well-earned night's short night's rest. Let's go and have a word. Say thanks for letting us tag along. Mark, I just want to say thank you so much for having us along today. It's been an absolute privilege uh, to join you, even if it's been incredibly hard. Uh, it's been a total eye-opener. I mean, uh, I knew what you were doing was a feat of endurance, but this has totally put things into perspective. Uh, that was me completely done, and you've got 80 more days of it. Yeah. Um, so well, yeah, this, this is 240 miles to here. I mean, that's. I think until you've ridden that, it's it's hard it's hard to know. You know, it it rolls off the tongue quite easily, but it's a long way. It's it's a long way. I can vouch for that. Um, anyway, get a, have a very well earned night's rest, and uh, best of luck for tomorrow. Yeah, but you're we've got another hour, yeah. You're, I'm sorry, mate. Bike. Cool. What? Let's go. He's, he's, we're not done yet. <laughs>